Hello and welcome to the 2010 Silkway Rally, the second edition of the cross-country race that will this year take place entirely in Russia. And the competitors were certainly delighted to visit the splendid city of St. Petersburg, host of the start of the Silkway, a city christened the window to Europe by writer and poet Alexander Pushkin. A city of culture, of sports and now of motorsports for what promises to be a fabulous event. But before battling it out on the day special, the 43 cars and 16 trucks were splendidly welcomed this morning on the Palace Square of St. Petersburg by thousands of spectators who came to cheer on the heroes of the Silkway Rally. Third of the previous edition and winner of the opening stage of the 2009 Silkway, Janil de Villiers hadn't won a time special since then. Over a whole year later and after 2010 Dakar already he'll want to forget, the South African hit back in style. The South African beat his teammate Nasser al Atiyah by 2 minutes and 6 seconds. The good surprise coming from Russia's Boris Gadison in his Nissan, the Baja specialist third on the day and among the podium contenders. After winning the very first edition of the Silkway Rally, Fadaz Kabarov had the honor, yet a disadvantage, of opening the way on the first special. He still went on to win the stage with a 16 second advantage over his Kamas captain on a new machine, Vladimir Chagin. And it was to be a Kamas one, two, three, four. With Nikolaev and Mariev in third and fourth position. Best of the rest was Alas Law Price in his new Tatra. While it was a real nightmare for Ivico in the DeRoy trucks, Pep Villa made it with a two-hour deficit, while Hans Doisters broke his steering and he was still expecting his assistance. What a great scenery it was today. It'll be even better tomorrow on the Silkway Rally, headed to Viasma.